Hello everyone, Hugo Slop here. I'm going to show you a quick video. It should be quick, but I don't know. I've made this video 20 times. I've done it. I just can't freaking get it right. Anyways, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to install um, your controller to your computer. Any controller, pretty much. Now, I'm going to send you a link, which will be in the description. These are not my applications, just saying. But these are the tools. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need a Bluetooth installer. You're going to need two different installers to the right. All right. This is your Bluetooth for your Bluetooth dongle in case you want to go wireless. These are just, you know, the applications where I'm going to help you get it installed, the controller. Now, things you're going to need are these, the download in the description. You're going to need to download that. And you're also going to need a controller of your choosing. Um, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, P PS3. PS3 is what I'm using right now. And PS3 is what's working for me. I honestly enjoy the PS3 controller, but user preference. Um, you're also going to need a cable. So, however, you're going to need a cable that connects from your controller to your USB port on your computer. So once you have that all started, we're going to want to boot up this first one. Set up under, underscore step one. You're going to boot that up. You're going to run through the installation. And you're just going to click next on everything. Now, I have to show you this real quick. Once you get to this screen, you're just going to click that install button. I sadly cannot show you this on myself installing because I already installed this one and it won't let me reinstall it but running through the installation you want to click install here don't mess with this stuff it's also going to try to install some like net firmwares and stuff like that you just need to let all that happen it's just getting the correct stuff so it'll work um, after you get there click install of course here we're just going to click run driver installer okay click that and you'll you'll be on your way the final thing we're gonna see is this this is where it gets just a little bit tricky now you have to have your controller plugged in for this so make sure your controller is plugged in into your computer um and right now we're not even gonna worry about the bluetooth okay make sure all of these are clicked including force driver installation in case there's some kind of error, it'll force it upon the computer anyways. So, you might have a little glitch, but it won't really matter. Now, install DualShock 3 driver. That is your PS3 and Xbox 360. DualShock 4 is your Xbox One PS4 controller. Now, they're a little... They're a little, like, different. I don't know why. But... Once you, which one you have, so PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, this should be open by default right here, but you're going to have this open, find your PS3 or Xbox 360 controller, click it, make sure it's checked, there'll be more check boxes like this in here, and then, or if it's that one, you know, find that one, but again, make sure all of these are clicked. And once all those are clicked and you've selected the right controller with under the right category here, you're going to click install. Now a bunch of stuff is going to pop up on the right hand side here and on the bottom left. Don't worry about it. Let it all happen. Your computer isn't getting blown up. And this bar should be running. There'll be blue dashes throughout the whole thing. And um, once... That is done. It'll act, it'll say completed in one of these little boxes on the right side, but you won't really tell. You'll get this annoying notification thing, this ding ding. It's crazy, but that means it's done. Your controller and this bar will also be empty again when it's done. But your controller should have lights up just like when it's connected to your to your to your system. But it's plugged in. Now from here, you can close this out, close out of that application. From here, you want to make the decision 
now it works it works so your controller is working just fine now it should work with all the games including fortnite steam games you might need to go into the steam settings and select your controller settings and stuff but it works for fortnite and it works for my steam game so i'm happy with my ps3 controller but one more thing if you want to make it bluetooth we have to do another thing so from there now now it's working you can go play okay you can go play unless you want it wireless we want to set up we're going to use this one the bluetooth.exe now i've already run this you just have to click yes a couple of times it is actually by lenovo and it puts the driver for your bluetooth on your computer now i already had it done and then you're going to lose your bluetooth capability for all your other devices so it's only going to use that bluetooth for your controller which kind of sucks but at the same time can't complain it's a controller let me shut up for a second now and let's go into it so use that driver installer the bluetooth.exe sponsored it's by lenovo not sponsored by but the program is by lenovo they take full pride and ownership into that and that'll install your dongle or whatever bluetooth driver you have if it already recognizes your bluetooth like it already shows it here don't install it but mine didn't recognize it so i had to install it so final one here is we're going to open up scp blue wireless bluetooth we're going to open that up and let me exit out of these things quick but uh we're going to open up it's going to install these four these four things right now if you want to open up this one the scp toolkit and monitor it'll show all right well it should have showed that i'm connected the pad one is where my controller usually is and this always takes a minute it's stupid There we go. Now it's on Bluetooth. So that proves that my device is working. So right there, if you're looking for Bluetooth proof, DS3, that's the PlayStation 3 controller. But we're going to open up this this tool, this right here. It's going to ask for administrative, just like all the other programs are going to. Um, Yeah, this is the error where I came into. It stopped. Oh, shit. Um which if you guys have the error it fixes itself for me on but if you guys have the error it'll it'll work itself out or i can help you if you get the error, error please comment and i'll try to help you um microsoft xbox controller now you've already installed your controller so you don't need to worry about this page now this is where your controller should pop up now I see mine, mine's already initialized. If for some reason it pops up here, you need to click here and initialize it. But my controller popped up here in the beginning and didn't need to do that. Now for your next step, Bluetooth devices. Now your, your Bluetooth device after you install the driver from Lenovo, it should be up here right on the top uninitialized and then you need to click initialize and it'll run this thing and it'll become initialized then you shouldn't have to deal with all this and if you didn't install the windows service the first click you can click it and it'll check for it mine's already installed but um if in case your controller isn't just connecting step one make sure it's plugged in and then you're going to try to connect to it with the connection. And yeah. So right now it's showing it's charging. So that means it's plugged in. But if I unplug it, it's Bluetooth. So that's it, guys. That's really all I have to do. There's a cool, there's some cool settings, I guess, here. 
you can change up the lights and stuff. Instead of player one, you can be like, I mean, I haven't messed with these. I wouldn't really mess with them. For, for the DualShock 3 controllers, you can change what what uh, option it shows for like what color. But I wouldn't really mess with them. You know, I don't think there's a set to default or anything like that. The, don't worry about these ever again, really. Um, if you want to check out the monitor from time to time, it's there. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any problems, please comment down below. I'm a small YouTuber, so I will try my best to help you out. And link below for all the downloads. And have a great day.